Hey guys, welcome back to Campbell Workshop. Happy Lunar New Year! Today we are going to make bunch flowered narcissus, which is also known as Chinese sacred lily. Although this year we could not go back to Hong Kong, I've made this branch to celebrate with you. Before we start, if you haven't subscribed to our channel, don't forget to click on the subscribe button below so you won't miss any of our new tutorials. First, take out the beige 90 gram crepe paper. We need to cut some half petals according to the template. We will need 12 pieces per flower head. Then we need to put the petals together with some yuho glue. Next, we are going to make the cup-like flower center. Cut a piece of 2.5x2.5cm yellow crepe paper. Give the bottom a few 0.5cm cuttings. Take a pen with a 1cm diameter as your tube. Shape the yellow crepe paper around it. Stretch it out so the two ends overlap. Add a drop of yuho glue to stick them together. Hold the bottom 1.5cm together, you will end up with a paper glass. Now we need to make the pollens. Trim 3 pieces of 26 gauge wire in 4cm. Slice 3 pieces of 0.3cm yellow crepe paper and we wrap the wires with yuho glue. These are your pollens for the flower head. Next, we are going to colour with soft pastel. Mix the pastel into a dark orange and colour the tip of the pollens. If you need a bit of tip on colouring with soft pastel, you can check out our rose tutorial for more details. Take out a piece of 18 gauge wire and wrap the three pollens onto the wire with some flower tape. Shape the tip of the pollens. Put the pollens through the paper glass and wrap it to the stamp. It should look like this. Use your tweezers to bend the flower centre outwards. Colour the folding with the remaining orange pastel. After that, trim the tip of the petals to tidy them up. Shaping time. Use the end of a paintbrush to shape the top. Curl the bottom petal and expand in the middle. One is done. Do the same to all the petals. Take your flower center out. We can attach the petals with some yuho glue. Start with three petals and add another three as the second layer. Then we are going to make a couple of budding flowers. Cut the petals out of the light green crepe paper. We need 4 petals per budding flower. Scrape some dark green and light green. Colour the budding flower from bottom to the top. Leave the tip uncoloured. Take out a 18 gauge wire in 15 centimetres. Bend a loop on the top and add a ball of hot glue on top. Let it cool down. When you're waiting, take out your flower and add a little hot glue ball 
on the flower stem, about 3 cm away from the bottom of the flower. Take out your budding flower stem again. Prepare a bit of yuho glue. Expand the bud of the budding petal. Add a drop of hot glue on the top and some yuho glue on the bottom. Then we add a drop of hot glue board at the end of the petal and let it set. I prepare three flowers on the 18 gauge wires, three on 22 gauge wires and two budding flowers. Cut a few strips of olive green and leaf green crepe paper. Stretch the paper out and use the olive green strip to wrap from the bottom of the flower to the hot glue ball. Wrap the hot glue ball and half the stem with the leaf green strip. Do the same to all the flowers. For the budding flower, we wrap from the hot glue ball to the half of the stem with the leaf green paper. After all the wrapping, bend the flower head around the hot glue ball. Then we can start putting the flower together. Add a bit of tape to stop them from moving. Adjust the bundle until you are happy with it. Don't forget to add the two budding flower at the bottom. Wrap the bundle together with some leaf green crepe paper. Cut two pieces of white crepe paper space. Colour them roughly with light green soft pastel. Get a bit of sand colour and colour around the bottom. Get some brown pastel and colour the tip. Expand it in the middle and curl the bottom for attachment. Attach the space to the stem with yuho glue. And wrap the stem with the leaf green crepe paper to hide the bottom of the space. Give the space a little shape. You will like it to look a bit rough, like the flowers have burst out of it. Then we move on to the leaves. Cut the leaves along the grain according to the template. Wrap the leaves to the bundle. Start from the longest to the shortest. At last, I've put a few drop of yuho glue to attach the leaves to the stem for styling. And we are done. Thank you for watching the video and I hope you will like it. If you like it, please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe to our channel. It will be very helpful for our channel to grow. Stay tuned for our weekly tutorials and all our templates are available on our Etsy store. Check them out. See you guys next week.